As we rev up for the big holiday weekend, we do have a swim safety health alert. According to the Centers for Disease Control, children between the ages of one and four are at the highest risk for accidental drowning. In a moment, we'll show you some ways to keep your family safe. But first, one mother's heartbreaking story. Monique and Bill Tischer will always cherish the two years they had with their daughter, Violet. She was just funny. She was just really funny. She liked to laugh. She liked to read. She liked to dance. The youngest of three children, Violet was always close to her mom's side, often mesmerized by books and the family dog. <laughs> A stay-at-home mom, Monique thought she and her husband had taken all the right precautions to keep their kids safe. We had a gate that she had to go through and the door and the lock on the door and it just, it wasn't enough. One afternoon, minutes after setting down to send an email, Monique's worst fear came true. I started the email and Violet was at my feet. And by the time I sent the email, she was gone. I rushed out of the office and she was nowhere to be seen and the back door was open and I just knew something was wrong and I ran out here and found her in the pool. Monique tried to resuscitate her and called 911, but Violet did not survive. I pulled her out and started giving uh, CPR. But because I was so flustered by what was going on, I was doing it all wrong. Um, but I was trying. Tragically, Violet's story is far too common. Two children die every day from drowning, the leading cause of unintentional death for kids under age four. Formal swimming lessons can reduce their risk of drowning by more than 80%. Parents need to know that drowning is a silent killer and that it's not going to be loud screams like the movies. What's going to happen is there's actually going to be very little noise. According to the USA Swimming Foundation, most young drowning victims were last seen inside their homes in the care of one or both parents and were only out of sight for less than five minutes, just like Violet. She was maybe out of my sight for three to four minutes. Two-year-olds are... They're quick, they're very quick, and it can, it literally happens in the blink of an eye. Monique and Bill have opened a kids' bookstore. They call it the Purple Chair to honor their daughter's love for books. And Monique's plea is for parents to be present and pay attention when children are in the pool. All right, here with some more resources now to help stay safe around the water this summer's Today contributor and digital lifestyle expert, Mario Armstrong. Mario, good morning. We, of Hi, course, Tim, have some apps and gadgets we're going to talk about. We should sure. point out, though, that this is not a replacement, of course, for proper supervision and being there with your kids no, at as, all times. And as we heard, too, 80% right. better chance if you go ahead and get formal swimming lessons Absolutely. as well. And we should keep in mind, we saw a lot from that footage about swimming pools, mm -hmm. but this goes for beaches, That's lakes, great. everywhere else that people may hang out. Let's so, start with the first app, okay. Swim by Red Cross. Yes. Um, one of the many apps, great apps that the Red Cross has rolled out, by It the is. Way. And this one I really like a lot because it's easy to get through. Uh, you can find out a lot of things like prevention, how to even prevent drowning, um, what can happen and where. Uh, there's video clips in here as well that you can go through. Lots of great how to wear a life jacket, but my favorite is the kids can take quizzes. Mm. So you can actually go through and say, is it okay to bring glass into a pool area? Yes or no. Oh. And you go through a series of these questions that really educate kids about the safety, not only inside the pool, but also things around the pool. Tell us about this home pool safety app as well that you have. Yeah, now this is great for those homeowners that have pools oh. and uh, you know I was thinking about this my parents have a pool I've never gone through like a checklist so this is a way to actually have an interactive checklist you could say is the swimming pool gate uh, safe and secure how would I know that you go through these different questions you say yes no you can actually take a picture does the gate latch and stay closed after, after it returns so basically you have this interactive checklist of all the different things around your pool to remind you to check for everything around it: electricity mm -hmm. chemicals all the things that you should be looking out really for. quick because we're at a time almost some wearable devices the i swim band yes this is awesome the i swim band is a is a band that you wear on your wrist or on your headband as you can see here once it's in the water depending on the swimmer's level you can set this to ring a an alarm on your mo mo mobile devices uh -huh. so you can be several feet away and monitor up to eight or twelve of these as you can see this one's now going off because this was set for a swimmer level that within five seconds it'll go off valuable information mario thank you so much